Okay, so this one at first glance may seem a little complicated. It says Paula um, complete, completely covered a square wall using 87.5 feet of wallpaper, square feet squares of wallpaper without any overlap. And then it says wh um, which measurement is closest to the side length of this wall in feet. <clears throat> well, we can kind of think of this as a number a couple ways. So let's draw a rectangle. So if we're talking about a rectangle, that means that these are going to be all congruent side. In order for us to talk about finding the area of a square, it is S squared. It's that side length squared if they're all congruent. Now, we're talking about a wall, so then that means that we know what the area is. So then the area is 87. 0.5 is equal to S squared. Well, now we need to find the value of S. Well, we can square the value of each side. So then S is going to be equal to the square root of 87.5, which S is approximately 9.3. Let me see, so I get the exact value. 9.35 feet. Okay, we're talking about the side length. Now, which one of these is closest? Well, A is definitely out, and B is definitely also out. So the only one that comes close to that side length is C, nine feet. That will give us no overlap. Now, if we chose D, D is a possible choice, but it's gonna give us some overlap, all right? So we know, we know that, because we're talking about the closest side, okay? The closest value. So, the only possible answer choice is C. Um, let's see. 32. So, Ben is collecting data from a group of 12 people. Um, he measured each person's resting heart rate and recorded the average number of hours each person exercised each week. He created a scatter plot. So, scatter plot is just a number of data that we can talk about that, depending on how closely related that data is, we can make um, extrapolations and predictions um, where our values meet. Now we have our values, the average weekly exercises as are, is our X, and the BPM rates per minute um, is our Y. <clears throat> Based on the scatter plot, what is the best prediction of the resting heart rate in beats per minute when they exercise on average each hours per week? So again, I'm going to draw my trend line. In order for me to draw my trend line, Okay, it's going to be going down like this. Um, let me do a, let me use a ruler, use draw a line. I can insert a shape, insert a line, um, line. So we can make this nice and pretty. Now remember, in order for me to talk about making the line of best fit, it needs to be the closest to where it goes in all of them kind of in the middle so that they're closest. That's going to be the best one. All right, now, and it says 8 beats per minute. So now I'm going to draw my line 8. Um, 8 hours exercise average. So now we're going to look at 8, draw my line going that way. All right, well, let's look. That's going to be under, it's going to be under, 50. So it's under under 50, or it's uh, close to 50, um, and it, but it's not 30. 30 won't work. 60 is too high. Um, so, and 55 would also be, because 55 is going to be up here. 55 is also going to be too high. Oops, wrong one. 55 is going to be too high, because if I were to look at 55 beats per minute, that would be there. So the only one that's closest to the possible answer choice is going to be G. That's, that's really the easiest way to solve this problem, and it's pretty straightforward and simple. Um, I will go in the next videos, in, or next problem into the next video. See you then.